that'd be guys, nice. Have you guys seen the counter argument to that? They're like, why is everybody freaking out that there's a gay scene when it's about a 16 year old girl who falls in love with a buffalo? <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey everyone, and welcome back to Bruffington. Today is gonna be really fun because I, I don't know about you guys, but I am really excited about the new Beauty and the Beast coming out. Sometimes when like, there's a movie coming out that I'm excited for. I go crazy and I like stalk all of the YouTube videos about it and all the behind the scenes things and interviews and everything. And so I've done that with this movie and I really hope that's gonna be good. And I'm really excited that it's a musical. Speaking of musicals and friends, these are my <laughs> friends. <laughs> this is Cecily and Lara. They're my friends from high school, which is about 10 years ago now. So long ago. I still feel like I'm in high school though, <laughs> even though I have three kids. But um, we were all in choir together and we did the Beauty and the Beast musical when we were seniors. Yeah. In yeah. the senior year. One of me and Lara were one of those like blonde girls that, yeah, you know, Gaston. follow like Gaston's groupies. Yeah. And I was also a, a, the pepper shaker. And, and I was the napkin. napkin. You guys were the napkin, right? Yeah, I was a napkin. And Cecily was the feather duster. Love it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I thought, I was trying to think of a fun video to do to get excited for Beauty and the Beast and I thought I'd grab these two because they're the only ones around. Actually, there's probably a couple more people around <laughs> that were in the musical with us, but I don't know who they are or where they are. So I grabbed these two and we're gonna do some Beauty and the Beast trivia to see if we really know our stuff about Beauty and the Beast. And I feel like I'm gonna be really good at this. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is I just have some trivia cards from um, Disney Trivial Pursuit. We're gonna take turns reading the question and then whoever doesn't get it right has to wear the beast hood. And so the next person gets it wrong. That's their penalty for losing. That's the meanest thing I can think of. My husband thought we should have whoever lost drink 10 dozen eggs. Oh, like, oh no. <laughs> um, so anyway, there's not that bad of a penalty, but you have to wear this humiliating hood until the next person loses. So let's get started. And we're gonna see who knows the most about Beauty and the Beast. Okay, question number one. Cecily, take it away. Which female artist formed part of the duo that sang Beauty and the Beast over the end film credits? Celine Dion. Oh, dang it. Uh, I would not have known. I just yeah. watched a live video of her singing it. Oh, really? Like, yeah. Till as long as time, song as long as Well, I beat you. So, so do I have to wear this? One hundred. Yeah, you have to wear it. I didn't lose though. Oh, I did lose. You, oh, put, it on you my look head. cute. <laughs> How do you make that look cute? So here's the picture of it. You guys have to kind of see that picture. So it's just the beast, right? Okay. Okay. So the question is, what does Belle recognize about me when I change back? His hair? No. Her eyes. His eyes. His eyes. That's Dang right. It. Her eyes. His eyes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I wanted to wear the hair. Yeah. I made that, you know. Okay, this one's kind of hard. It's like a little bit wishy-washy. Okay, what saves the beast after he has been stabbed by Gaston? Um, her tears? Her love? Oh, she said I love you. Yeah, I would give Before the rose falls. Oh, yeah, the final declaration of love. Declaration of love. He Those magical that. tears. <laughs> we have like four kids right. hanging around here, so there's probably here. some noise. Can you see that? Oh, really? Who am I? Um, oh. His name is, um... Who is the guy who owns the insane asylum? Jeff. <laughs> so Gerard. Name. Lafayette. No, I feel like I know it. <laughs> Monsieur. Oh. Yeah, Monsieur. Um, There's no what's the starting line? It. It's not light, but dark. Dark. Oh. Monsieur dark. So you guys like just talked about this. <laughs> Who saves me? Lumiere. See that is. Who saves me um, from LeFou during the castle invasion? Babette. I was gonna say, wasn't it Babette? No. Dang it. Yes. Comfort. Oh, oh, I am sure. Yeah, I was trying to think of his name. I didn't yeah. really remember that. But. Hey you all. Oh, I love this hood. <laughs> Okay, this one's hard, and I don't know if it's in the movie or not. In Beauty and the Beast, how old is the beast when the spell is broken? 30. I'm thinking he's... No, I thought he was 20. 24. 20? 20? No. 23? 18? 22. 21. Yes! Oh. <laughs> I was first going to say, but I thought he had to be, he had to be loved before he turned 21. 
Well, that was the final rose falling. Maybe it was his birthday. Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Which childish trick can the little cup perform by blowing? <gasps> Bubbles. Oh. Uh, ha -ha. Yes. Oh. What is the rather dim Gaston's two word reply when Belle calls him primeval? Thank you? Yes! <laughs> That's right! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. What flower does the old woman Rose. for me? <laughs> <laughs> I was giving you a chance. Offer me for a night's shelter. I had to finish it. <laughs> okay, this Magic. one is a tough one, unless you guys already saw it. Okay. In which year was Beauty and the Beast first released? I think it was 91. 91. I was going to say it was the 90s. I did see it, but I forgot. I think I remember seeing that. 91 is coming. I can't believe I wasn't. I was like, we were, yeah. We were all 90. Were you 89? I was 89. I was 90. Oh, you're 89. Yeah. yeah. November 89. So we were babies. Now, now we have babies. Okay, right, we got a couple more questions and then we'll call it good. Okay. The, name one of the two things, or name, you guys have to name both. Name both things the beast must do to break the spell and to turn back into a prince. He must learn to not be selfish and learn to love. Nope. He must, must learn to love. That no, is one. That's one. He must learn to not be a beast. Nope. To not be angry? Rude? Um, yeah, not getting there, you're sir. Not, oh, learn to Charity. see like the inner beauty of somebody? Like, almost. Uh, you're dancing around it. To have a warm heart? To not to be cold hearted? To love another and... Love himself? And earn... Respect. Earn the love in return. Yes! Oh yeah. my god. Earn your love in return. Do you want to wear the hat? Mm. Emma wanted to wear the hat, so should we let her wear it? Which film do we both appear in? Beauty and the Beast! What? Dang it. <laughs> Dude, <Debron. laughs> How many dozen eggs does Gaston ten. claim to eat? Oh, is it ten? For five. Five, five. Five. Oh, yep. Well, you threw me off. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. You won. Yeah. Last one, everyone. <laughs> you made it through this video. Goodbye. Oh, okay. He's a little <laughs> beast down here. Yeah. <laughs> Who sings Be Our Guest? Lumiere. Oh. Haha. <laughs> well, I knew that. <laughs> okay, everyone, thank you for watching our Beauty and the Beast trivia session. And thanks to my friends who I like don't get to see enough. Oh, P.S. Do you have a YouTube channel up yet? I do. Okay, check out Cecily's YouTube channel. What's it called? It's, um, well. It's just look for Cecily Jorgensen. Cecily Jorgensen on YouTube. She is a wonderful singer, musician, voice teacher, voice teacher. So <laughs> check her out on YouTube. I'll try and find it and I'll put a link down below for everyone to check out. We gotta go because our kids are ready for dinner. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you later. Bye! Bye.